In this demo, we'll see how to use the Poly to PolyX upgrade bridge, where we take our Poly as ERC20 tokens on Ethereum and upgrade them to PolyX on PolyMesh. The first step here is making sure we have our MetaMask wallet installed, which I have here as a Chrome browser extension, and I'll connect my MetaMask wallet. Now we see we're using the Kovon testnet on Ethereum and we're using the Alcyon testnet on PolyMesh. So we're taking testnet Poly from Ethereum and upgrading that to become testnet PolyX on PolyMesh. We see it asks me for my PolyMesh address, but I don't have one, so I need to create a PolyMesh account. Here I'm taking to our Getting Started page, where I'll see that I need the new PolyMesh wallet. I'll add the PolyMesh wallet to Chrome, and here we have it. So I'll close this and head back to the bridge. And now I'll set up my PolyMesh wallet. Check here, create a new account. I'll copy my recovery phrase and save this in a safe place, and then move on to the next step. We'll create an account name. We can just call this test wallet and we'll create a password. And we see we have an account here starting with number five, but we have an unassigned key. So what we need to get for PolyMesh in order to use it is a DID, a decentralized identity. The unique thing about PolyMesh relative to other blockchains is that in order to use PolyMesh, you must pass a KYC and AML process. And we've built PolyMesh in this way because as we've talked to more and more financial institutions, this is something that is very, very crucial for them. And so we'll see what that KYC and AML process looks like on testnet, which is very, very simple. It's just a phone number. But on mainnet, the process is more involved. Things like passports, proof of jurisdiction, things of that nature. So now I'm going to copy my address here, paste it. Then we see our PolyMesh account creation is incomplete. And again, we need to verify our identity in order to continue. So we'll click here. We can put our email in if we'd like, our familiarity with blockchain, and maybe we're a poly holder looking to stake. And on testnet, just a very basic check for a phone number and success. After I verified my phone number by typing in a code that I received via text message, I have my PolyMesh ID. We can see here it's this string of characters highlighted beginning with 0x. And so that's associated with my real world identity. Now that we have our PolyMesh address and we have it associated with a PolyMesh ID, we can upgrade our Poly to PolyX. On Testnet, when we're upgrading Kovon Poly to Testnet PolyX, we have a maximum of 30,000 Poly per day. So I'll go ahead and upgrade the 30,000. We'll confirm and we'll sign two transactions here with MetaMask. We'll confirm again. And we can see here the transaction has been completed in terms of what needs to happen on the Ethereum blockchain and that upgrade transaction is being finalized on the PolyMesh blockchain now. We can see here there's 16 minutes remaining in the transaction. This transaction can actually take anywhere between a couple minutes uh, all the way up to a couple hours. So you can sit tight and wait for your Poly to become upgraded to PolyX. And success, our Poly has now been upgraded to PolyX. So we can see here that we have the transactions, they locked on the Ethereum blockchain, and they're finalized on the PolyMesh blockchain. And that's the end of this demo where we saw how to upgrade our Poly to PolyX. If you want to learn more about PolyMath or PolyMesh, you can go to our website at polymath.network. And if you want to try out this demo, you can head over to the Getting Started page.